Hey guys, this is Dirk with Adorama TV and today I'm excited to show you how to take the drone up if it's your very first time flying. I'm then going to walk you through some of my favorite flying exercises that I hope help get you more comfortable with flying a drone. So let's go check it out. Alright, so to start things off, I think it's a good idea to walk yourself through a drone flight checklist to make sure you're good to fly. You are welcome to download the one that I put together by clicking the link below. So let's go ahead and start up the remote, the app, and then the drone. I always like to turn on the transmitter or the remote control first, then my app, and then the drone. Once you walk through each step in your flight checklist, you'll also wanna calibrate your drone if you've never flown before or if you've changed locations since the last time you've flown. Most of the higher end drones have an internal GPS and compass that allow the drone to hover in place and they also tell the drone it's heading, which is also where it's facing. So you wanna make sure that these are accurately set so the drone knows exactly where on earth it is. So really quick, let me walk you through the calibration process. I'm using the DJI Phantom to do this, but most manufacturers follow a similar process, like the one I'm about to show you. If you're on the Phantom, click on the menu and then click here on the calibrate button. Once you select that, follow the prompts on the screen. You're going to bring the drone level and then you're going to spin all the way around. Some of us call this the calibration dance, so you may look a little silly, but you don't want to forget this important step. Then follow the prompts on the screen. You're going to point the drone so it's facing down and then you're going to spin around again. Once you do that, the menu should disappear and you can then see that the drone is ready to fly. Now for your first flight, make sure your drone is on a flat surface and the front of the drone is facing away from you so that you don't get confused with the orientation. To get your drone up in the air, turn on the motors by pressing both the right and left sticks down and towards the middle. The motors will then start to spin and then wait for your next input. Then press the left stick up and the drone will go up into the air. I usually like to get about 10 feet in the air and then have it hover in place for just a few moments to make sure everything is working just right. To keep the drone from climbing higher in elevation, return the left stick to the neutral position and the drone will just hold in place thanks to GPS. Now with your drone hovering in the air, press the left stick up and the drone will rise. When you pull the left stick down, the drone will go lower. Returning it to the neutral position will keep the drone right where it is. When you push the left stick to the left, the drone will begin to twist to the left and rotate. When you push it to the right, the drone will twist to the right. Now with the right control stick, push it up and the drone will begin to move forward. If you want to bring it back, move the right stick down. If you want to fly it left, move the right stick to the left. If you want to fly it to the right, move the right stick to the right. These are the basic movements of how your drone will fly. When you're ready to fully land, bring the left control stick all the way down for a nice smooth landing. Once your drone is on the ground, pull the left stick all the way down and hold it there for about three seconds until the motors turn off. Now that you've completed your first flight, I have some exercise that I want to show you so you can practice and become more comfortable with flying your drone. One of the easiest maneuvers to fly is the box. This helps you get more comfortable with the right stick. The right stick basically lets you move forward, left, right, and back without having to worry about elevation or orientation. So just practice this by pushing the right stick up to fly forward, then left to fly left, then back to fly back, then right to fly right. There, we've now successfully flown in a box. All right, the next exercise is the 180. For this exercise, we're gonna fly out, then do a 180 and fly back. This will help you start to understand how the drone flies when you change orientation. So it's important to note that whenever the front of the drone is facing you, the controls are flipped, so keep that in mind. To start, Push the right stick up to move the drone forward. Then using the left stick, turn the drone around. Then use the right stick by pushing it forward 
to bring the drone back to you. Do this several times to make sure you feel comfortable with this maneuver. This next exercise is the box with yaw. This is similar to the first exercise, but this time we will be changing the orientation of the drone as we draw the box. So fly forward, stop, then turn 90 degrees to the left and move forward, then stop, then turn 90 degrees to the left again and move forward, then stop. Then for the final move and to complete the box, turn 90 degrees to the left and move forward, then stop. It's important to get comfortable with this exercise because you are flying the drone in the direction that it is facing, no matter which way you turn. This can be hard at first, but you'll want to practice it enough times so that it just becomes second nature. This next exercise is called the circle. It's more of an advanced exercise because it requires you to use both sticks at the same time. To start this one, move your right stick forward and then at the same time, use your left stick to keep the drone slowly twisting or yawing to the left. Practice this several times to get comfortable with it. The next exercise is called the figure eight. This is an even more advanced exercise. What we'll do is we will fly the drone in a figure eight by flying in one clockwise circle and one counterclockwise circle. Start off by making a big figure eight and then try to master making a smaller figure eight as you get more comfortable with this maneuver. The last exercise is the orbit. What you wanna do is you wanna select a subject and then fly a circle around that subject while keeping your drone facing the subject the entire time. So what you're going to do is you're gonna fly your drone using the right stick while turning the drone slowly with the left stick. This is also known as yawing. I suggest you do this slowly until you get the hang of it. If you are doing this right, then your drone should be moving in a nice circle around a subject. As you get comfortable with the orbit, I suggest you try it even faster and then maybe even add in some elevation to get an even more interesting shot. All right, well, thanks for watching Adorama TV. I hope that was helpful to you. My name is Dirk Dallas and I will see you guys next time.